Hi there, it's Sandy, and I am going to bring you an equipment video. I don't usually do this kind of thing, but since I've had so many questions lately, since I've been on my airbrush binge, a lot of you think I know a lot more than I do, so I had to go do some research. And I have some product that I just ended up buying recently for my classes, and thought since I'm going to be unboxing it for me, I will unbox it for you and show you what some of these kits are and what you need if you're going to get into airbrush. There's a couple different levels that you can get into. If you're only going to be doing little spritzes of things, so you're going to do a tiny bit of a background, or you're just going to color your embellishments, that's all you want this for, then you can get into the entry level, which is the ABS-2 kit is what it's called. I don't have one here to show you, but it comes with the gun, which is the, the thing that holds the marker in it, and it comes with an air can. And the air can, there's two levels of air can, this one is the D60 in the ABS-2 kit. The D60, I don't know what the reason is for the name, but it has four to five minutes of air. Yes, not 45, four to five minutes of air in it. So you're not gonna get a lot of airbrushing out of it, but if you're only gonna use it for a little bit, that could be perfect. And it doesn't have any other equipment, you don't need other stuff, you just pop your marker in there, start spraying, you're ready to go. The price point on that is under $50. I think I've seen them for 30, 40 ish plus. The air cans are replaceable for $12 to $15. I've seen prices in there. So consider that and, and the replacement cost of that air when you think about which system you're gonna buy. The next system up is the ABS-1. And I know I just said the other was the ABS-2 and they should be flipped, but they're not. So don't accidentally buy the wrong one. The ABS-2 is the under $50 kit for kind of real beginners, the, the real entry level. The ABS-1, is a lot fancier. This one has a bunch of stuff in it. And this one comes specifically with the 180 is the air can. I don't know what the 180 means either, but this air can lasts from 30 to 45 minutes. So you're gonna get a lot more airbrushing out of this. It has the air grip, same as the other, the other kit did. It has an air adapter, which plugs great, straight into that. That leads on this hose to the air can. So that air can then sits in this piece of foam so that it stands vertically and it does not have to be held by you because you're going to get frostbite if you hold this sucker because it gets very very cold so you need all of these parts in order to make this work you cannot plug the air can 180 directly into your air grip i would not recommend doing that you're going to one get frostbite and i don't even know if you'll break your air grip by doing that because it's only meant to have the d60 straight into it if you're trying to go from the ABS-2 to the ABS-1, you're gonna be spending a lot more money than you need to because the only piece you already have is the air grip. The rest of these parts you'll have to buy separately, and that's not a great idea. The price point on this is anywhere from 100 to 125, and the replacement air cans are about 20. So take that into consideration. Also, as you're thinking about the next step up, how long will it take you to buy a couple of cans of air and pay for a compressor? So let's talk about the compressor, which is the next one. ABS-3 is the kit that you need for the compressor. Look how tiny it is. All you need is the air grip and the adapter. And those two parts, if you buy the compressor, that's the Copic compressor, then all, it comes with this cord. However, if you buy a different compressor, I know a lot of people have stolen their husband's compressor from the garage and tried that one, you need to buy this cord and it's 30-ish dollars, something like that. So you do need to have that cord to make it work. But if you already have a compressor or if you're willing to spend on the Copic one that includes the cord, you can get into that system. If you're going from the ABS-1 to the ABS-3, you don't have to buy all this stuff again because you already have the air grip and you already have the air adapter. And then all you need is the cord and the compressor. So there's an easier jump from there than there is from the ABS-2 to the ABS-1. So quick review, ABS-2 is under 50 bucks and comes with the short can of air, which is four to five minutes. The longer can of air, the, the Air 180, which is about 30 to 45 minutes, is over $100. And then the ABS-3 kit, I believe, is around 50 bucks or less. And then you have to have the cord that goes with it for 30 and the compressor for whatever you end up paying for. I've seen 
prices on the Copic compressor from 150 to 350 $400 even in one place. So look around and save yourself some money by shopping well. But now let's look at putting together the ABS-1 kit because as I talk about each of these parts and you see how they all fit together, I can also talk about how that works with the compressor and all that sort of thing. So let's go do that. Here's our ABS-1 kit and I will unbox it for you so you can see how everything comes. We have the air grip and if you've not seen it before the Copic marker and it fits the sketch and original slides right in there the chisel nib forward and then the chisel nib let me show you that here while we're looking at this and then the air comes out of here and blows across the chisel nib onto the paper so that comes with each one of the different kits you get the air grip then we have our air can 180 this is the one that holds a lot more air than the other. This one is the little holder that that sits in like that. This is your air adapter and you need this for this kit and you also need it for the uh, ABS-3 and it simply pops into there and twists. You don't want to over tighten it or under tighten it. You could break both the adapter and the grip if you if you do it incorrectly. So you will hear some hissing if you have it too loose. So just I make it somewhat tight, but not really squeezy tight. And then we have our cord that goes from one to another. So we're going to take the hose out and untwist little twist ties that hold it together. So that will be ready. Ah, it's, it's very wiggly. And then this goes onto the bottom of this can. Twists on. And then we will open the can of air. Now remember, this is a can of air under pressure. You don't want to fly with this. You don't want to drop it. You don't want to get it in the leave it in the car in the summertime there's all kinds of warnings in the directions which are here and that will give you all the diagrams you need all the instructions you need it shows you how to hook everything up the whole nine yards it's got lots of really fun typos because it's from japan so enjoy the typos they're pretty hilarious so the air can 180 pop the lid off and I think these holes are to hold your lids, so you don't lose your lids, maybe. Not really sure what they're for. But this then goes on top, and it goes on here. We twist it, and again, you don't want to over or under twist it. So just do it some. And then I'll put it in here. Now, to turn it on you adjust this little thing on top here and I'm going to be very quiet so you can hear what it does eventually so I don't know if you heard that tiny hiss coming from this and then the pressure was available for the airbrush so then you'll put in your marker inside the barrel and then spray bada boom bada bing very very easy now when you're using your uh, compressor you're going to have a similar thing you're going to have this air grip on top you're going to have the adapter you're going to have this cord except it's not this cord it's got a different end on it and then that end will hook into the compressor itself so that you'll be able to have that constant air pressure. For the ABS-2, what I believe happens is that the, the D60 can that comes with the ABS-2 hooks directly into this. But since you're only using it for short bursts, it's pro probably not going to freeze your hand off. But if you're using the ABS-2, I would still not recommend doing it for long periods because you'll probably notice this getting colder. So there you have the unboxing of one of the kits. Now the last thing that I want to talk about is another money-saving type of idea for you. If you 
really are intrigued with the idea of getting a compressor, but you really can't afford one, but you have a stamp group and other people might be interested as well, you can share a compressor. So if you buy one compressor and this little gizmo right here, this little guy has, um, it's called a splitter and you have to get it from Copic because I haven't found anybody else who carries one. Um, you get one of these cords to come from, from this to the compressor and then you have a cord like this coming to each of the airbrushes. You can put two airbrushes on one Copic compressor using this little gizmo. So I'm using that for classes, but if you would like to share a compressor with your friend and take turns having it at each other's houses or at your LSS when you do your stamping together or something, that would be an option to have. That is about all I know about that. I think I've blathered on long enough. I hope you have a really wonderful weekend. If you have more questions about airbrush compressors and airbrushes and systems and all that, please leave them in the comments down below. And if I can't answer them, I refer you to Copic because I don't work for them. I don't, I'm not selling them. I'm not getting anything back for this. I'm just giving you information that I found out so that you can make decisions about what you might want to buy. Take care. Have a good weekend. See you next time. Bye guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See ya. If you're new to my channel and you have not seen my airbrush videos, please feel free to click on any one of them to visit and see more about how I do my airbrushing.